YouTube, we are back with another video, man. Hey, wildly requested video. Y'all been asking for a lot of different drip hacks. Y'all been asking for scrunch socks, jersey untucked, pants and butter knees, how to make your jersey tighter. We're gonna cover all that in this video. So definitely stay tuned, definitely save this video. And share it with your friends too, feel me? You don't want your teammates, your friends looking like scrubs on the field, uh, that'd be tragic. But yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, keep running the channel up. Yo, let's get this video to like, I don't know, 100 likes, day one. Let's get this channel up to like 20K subs by, let's say like two weeks from now, you feel me? Two weeks from now, let's get that. But yeah, definitely run this video up because this video is gonna be a banger. The first drip hack is gonna be with scrunch socks. Now the key with scrunch socks or scrunch sleeves is you want a pair that is well made, right? And by well made, I mean you want it to be cinched on both ends that way it doesn't slide down your leg. These right here, they're actually from my dripper skip store. The link to that is gonna be down below. Go cop some if you're trying to elevate your drip this season. But we're gonna go over how to kind of how to kind of rock these, right? So the big thing is you don't really have to think too much about it, right? It's not that difficult. Just really put them on your leg. Oh, and a big mistake I see a lot of guys make is they pull them up and they have all this space between the leg and their, uh, or all this leg space between the sock and the uh, sleeve. Looks terrible, looks nasty, it's gonna be a skip. You want minimal, a minimal amount of space. And then from there, you just kind of pull the sleeve on the rest of your leg and really just adjust it to get your desired scrunch. And now if you want a little bit more scrunch, you say you're wearing like a little bit higher, higher on your leg, what you can do is you pull this up, scrunch it up, then you actually throw another pair over top of it. So now we have more of the Odell scrunch sock type of look that a lot of y'all try and emulate. Then yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this, but basically you just keep messing with it until you get your scrunch to the desired amount. Yeah, there we go. Got good sock scrunch, and we have a good start to our good start to the drip right here. Okay, next drip hack is gonna be what to do when you have white cleats and you're required to wear black socks. So I know a lot of coaches they'll say, oh, you gotta wear black socks, that's the uniform. And then let's say your parents buy you white cleats, you buy white cleats, whatever the case may be, you have white cleats, right? Well, we know that black socks, white cleats, that is a drip sin 10 out of 10 times will get you skipped every single time. So we don't wanna do that, right? So what we wanna do is you wanna take a white sock. Now, if you have socks or sleeves, it doesn't make actually that much of a difference. But I mean, black socks or black sleeves. Right now, we're gonna do it with sleeves explain what to do if you have socks. But basically, we wanna pull the sleeves up, and then we just wanna have a little bit of white showing, right? So you can put the sleeve over the sock, you can have a little bit of skin showing. Whatever you do though, we just wanna make it so the black sock isn't going directly into the white cleat, so now we have a little bit of a break right here, and yeah, it makes the drip 10 times better. Uh, I've actually worn a look like this before. I don't prefer it. I prefer a darker cleat uh, if I'm gonna go with a darker sock, but it does make a difference, right? This isn't gonna get you a skip. And yeah, so that's what to do if you have required to wear black socks and you have white cleats. If you have socks, what you're gonna wanna do is just put the sock on top of the other sock, right? So you could even cut the bottom of the sock out. So you have it over the top, kind of like this, like you would see in like a NCAA or something like that and just rock it like that. Either way, it's not gonna get you a skip. Drip hack number three is gonna be the pants above the knees tutorial. As you know, once your pants are touching your shins, you kinda look like a slap dick. Also, me personally, a lot of other people, having something covering your knees while you run, that's just mad annoying, mad uncomfortable. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna show you how to push your pants above your knees. Okay, so the big thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut your knee pads. Some of you are gonna say, oh, they're not gonna protect you as well. Well, they're going above your knees in the first place, so they're not really protecting anything in the first place. And this little piece of styrofoam right here, like, I'm not gonna lie, if you get a helmet to this, uh, yeah, it's still gonna hurt regardless. Your knee's still gonna be gone if you hit it well, uh, hard enough. So yeah, the pants below the knees, it's not gonna be a real safety hazard. Did it my entire career, never ran into any issue. So to start, we just wanna put the pads in the pants. Very self-explanatory, very simple, simple step, but this is gonna be a thorough tutorial, so we're gonna cover everything. Now 
and flip the pants. Now the knee pads, since they're smaller, there's a chance they fall out. If they do, you just put them back in. Uh, so I'm gonna keep my shorts on right now so we don't get demonetized, but you're gonna take the pants, start to put them on, then you're actually gonna take the bottom of them and you're gonna pull it up, right? So you're gonna pull it up from the bottom, from the opening of the leg. until they are about on your quads. Then from there, make sure the thigh pads are flipped over. Once you flip them, in here if they do, just kind of fix it. Then you pull the pants, just pull them up from there. Like I said, thigh pads might get out of place, that's fine. Uh, so as you can see, the knee pads right now, they're backwards, pants are above the knees, but I wasn't really a fan of them being backwards like this. Not to mention, I also like mine a little bit higher. So what I would do is I would give my pants one extra flip. And it might be, it's a little sloppy right now. I didn't take you know, a ton of time to do this, but, uh, oh, and I have shorts on, but yeah. Flip it one more time, pants above the knees, they're gonna be in place, they're gonna be sturdy, they're not gonna move around. Uh, and yeah, you're not gonna have to deal with it the entire game. You're not gonna be sitting there, pulling the pants up every other play. They're locked into place right here. You can just go play, you don't gotta worry about anything. For the next drip hack, we're gonna go over how to have the untucked shirt underneath your jersey. Now, there's not it's not really difficult, not a difficult to, thing to achieve at all, but there's one thing you gotta realize and is you have to have the right type of shirt. Now this shirt right here is an athletic shirt. It's 100% polyester, and as you can see, it doesn't have a ton of stretch to it, right? I think I woke you almost ripped it right there. But it doesn't have a ton of stretch to it, so when you put it under your jersey, there's a good chance it starts riding up, especially if you have a tighter jersey. What you want is you want a shirt like this that has a little bit of spandex in it, right? That spandex gives it a little bit of the stretch, and what that's gonna help do is that's gonna help it stay looser the entire time. Five minutes later. All right, so this was a Nike shirt. You wanna make sure that it's not a compression shirt, right? Now, a lot of compression shirts are gonna be those ones that have spandex in them. You want it to still be fitted, loose, whatever the term is. You wanna make sure that it's not just super, super tight. So you throw it on, and with the other shirt, you would have noticed it would have been like rising up a little bit. It would have started, especially when you start moving around, starts rolling up. This one is gonna stay in place the entire time. Now, I never tuck my jersey in, uh, just kind of fold it up like that. Have a little bit of the shirt hanging out underneath. And yeah, that is how you do the baggy undershirt under the jersey. The final drip hack is gonna be how to make a loose jersey a little bit tighter, right? So a lot of y'all, you have these jerseys that are kind of these meshy materials, as you can see with the last one, uh, didn't have any issues with how it fit. But if you have a jersey that's kind of made this material that's not really form fitting, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna twist it up, right? You can do it in kind of whichever way. I feel like doing it back here is gonna be a little bit easier to hide. But basically you wanna twist it up, and I don't have a roll of tape, but take a roll of tape, just like tape it up so that way it's not gonna come undone. And then essentially you just tuck it up in the back. And as you can see, this is how it looks when it's kind of rolled up. This is how it looks when it's not rolled up. So rolling it up is gonna make it a little bit tighter. Now on the sleeves, what you wanna do if it's too tight is you wanna tuck it in to the shoulder pad and kind of fold it over, right? So I don't know how well that one's gonna work. This is definitely much more of a twist it up and fold it up. That's the one that's gonna get you like it to be a lot tighter. But if the sleeves are real loose, uh, shit, you might just hit some uh, shoulder press. But yeah, that's gonna be how you make a loose jersey a little bit tighter. But that's gonna do it for the video. Football drip hacks. Hey, like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we're trying to run the channel up. We're trying to hit 20K before the start of football season. And if we can do that, we're gonna be real lit. Man, channel's gonna be going stupid, be going crazy. Uh, Y'all keep showing love. But remember, if you want the scrunch sleeves, the link to the Dripper Skip store is going to be down in the description. If you want to be a Dripper Skip, the link to the Discord is also going to be down in the description. So go click on those, go run it up, tap in. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it. Catch y'all next time. Peace.